Hello, my name is Shane Cullens, and I want to invite and encourage you to join us for the IT Operations Management Focused Leadoff Presentation, Trends Where Things Are Shaping. That trend is a push to simplify hybrid IT management, building the right management tool set that each enterprise needs to successfully deliver services across all hybrid technologies and environments. Microfocus is designed to set a proven enterprise scale IT management solutions that can integrate with and work alongside data center and cloud tools to simplify the complexity of managing hybrid IT environments. Join me for this session about how we can work alongside your team to help you simplify the complexity and transform IT into a service-driven organization so IT can fully participate in digital business success. While we all back up our personal computers and gadgets and are inconvenienced if we do actually lose any of our personal data, the impact of businesses from data loss is far more severe and can include business delay, revenue loss and a hit to customer confidence. On December 10th, Billy Walshide, one of our product managers, will be providing an update on the latest enhancements and capabilities to MicroFocus Data Protector. Make sure you call in so you can understand how Data Protector's newest functionality can provide the backup solution your business data needs. Hi, I'm Dean Clayton, one of the Service Management Automation Product Managers. The suite of tools which includes SMAX, our service management tool, CMS and Universal Discovery. A key component of SMAX is how Service Asset and Configuration Management focuses on maintaining information about configuration items required to deliver an IT service, including their relationships. In my session, I'll show how we can effectively find and map CI relationships and how that information is used in service management and IT asset management to proactively assure services are always up and running across your entire hybrid IT environment. I'll also introduce you to Max, our smart virtual agent, who helps your employers to get the support and services they need. Max is just one of the many embedded machine learning and AI features at the core of Smax that not only makes it smarter for IT, but smarter for employees so they can focus on getting work done. Hi, my name is Wes Cooper, Product Marketing Manager for the Operations Bridge here at MicroFocus. I'd like to personally invite you to join us for our upcoming virtual customer days as presented by Vivid on December 10th and 11th. Here we're going to have a dedicated session that's going to focus on what's new in Operations Bridge, where you'll learn things like how to optimize your monitoring and reduce events with our single data lake architecture built on Collect Once, Store Once technology. We'll also go over innovations with what we're doing with automated event correlation and reporting on top of Collect Once, Store Once, as well as helping you to improve root cause analysis and mean time to resolution with our integrated AI ops capabilities. I'm gonna be there to help answer your questions in the session, as well as provide some additional resources so you can stay connected with our team. We'll look forward to seeing you there on December 10th. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I hope you had a great 2019. We're knocking on 2020, but we're not quite there yet. I wanted to let you know about the Vivid Virtual Customer Days coming up in December, where we'll talk about the great products at MicroFocus. Specifically, I wanted to highlight the Network Operations Management session. We'll talk about the latest releases, new functionality, a new bridge release, and best of all, we'll have our network experts on hand to answer any and all of your questions. I look forward to virtually seeing everyone Tuesday, December 10th. Hi everyone, I'm Justin Vanderwerf, Product Marketing Manager for MicroFocus's Data Center Automation Software. Join me at Vivid's Virtual Customer Days on December 10th to learn more about the features and capabilities of Data Center Automation. We'll talk about how DCA can help you automate your IT regulatory and security compliance audits, and we'll walk through a demo of how it can help you take a proactive approach to securing your data center against threats and vulnerabilities. We'll cover all this and more as well as have experts available live to answer your burning questions about data center automation. So join me on Tuesday, December 10th during Vivid's virtual customer days. I look forward to virtually seeing you there.
Hi everyone, what a crazy year 2019 has been and it's not over yet because as you know, the end of one thing means the beginning of another. If you want to be ready for your customer and partner projects in 2020, come and join me for my keynote during the second day of the Vivid Virtual Customer Days. My name is Doreen Jacoby, I'm the president of Corp, and I'm going to share some of the latest industry trends with you in the ITOM and ITSM world. Things that you will want to know if you are going to keep your customers happy in the year to come. So don't miss out. See you very soon. Hi, everyone. I'm Doreen Jacoby with Deck, and we're looking forward to sharing some of our great customer use cases with you. After all, no ITSM or item solution is complete without fully automated mobile response and efficient communication. So if you want to learn how some of our customers save up to 50% of their IT maintenance costs and benefit from a fully automated communication layer that sits on top of your MicroFocus product stack, our session on critical incident management on the tracks is the place to be. Join my colleague Patrick Casey and myself for a live demo of some of our great customer use cases. See you on December 11. <music> Hello, I am Sabin Jacob and I work in Aztec at the New York office as an architect for the monitoring solutions and tools team. My main responsibility within Aztec includes design, engineer and support the monitoring tools that we use in Aztec to monitor and manage our core trading systems. We have recently migrated from operations manager to operations bridge aka OMI. My upcoming presentation is all about our journey of evolution from OML to Ops bridge. In my presentation, I will be briefly touching the architecture and the initial planning, the challenges we faced, and also I'll be giving an idea about the value add or what we have achieved within the new tool. I hope this will help other folks who are planning to migrate from OML to OpsBridge or the folks who are already in the process of migration. Thank you and see you all at the webinar. Hi everyone, we're quickly approaching Vivid's virtual customer days coming up in December. My name is Kate Siemens. I'm with Whitlock Infrastructure Solutions. We're a partner of Microfocus. Join me for my presentation, Service Management Automation X, or SMAX as a service. If you haven't had the opportunity to see SMAX in action, I will be showing a demo of the latest release. We'll also discuss how you can get SMAX as a service and how we can help move your company into the next generation of enterprise service management software. Please join me December 11th at 1230, where we'll do a presentation and Q&A. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you then. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jim Moss. I'm from the uh... IRS NMCC um, in New Carlton, um, and I would like to introduce, we're actually having ITOM Vivid Customer Day VV VCD. Uh, this is gonna be on December 11th at 1.30 to 2.20. And what we're gonna be talking about, or what I'm going to be talking about is Enterprise and Alert. Uh, what's the reasoning why we'd actually have Enterprise and Alert, and what's the be benefits for having Enterprise Alert. Hope everybody can join us and hope to see you there. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Hi everyone, it's Jonathan Wright. Uh, I just wanted to take the time quickly to live stream uh, my introduction to my virtual customer days session for the ITOM uh, that's the IT operations management uh, for, uh, presentation. So I'm going to be doing cognitive engineering, intelligent enterprise RPA adoption. So part of that uh, talk which I'm going to be doing is going to feature the uh, newly released MicroFocus RPA solution. So I'm going to be talking about a number of different use cases. The first with the uh, UK government around Brexit. And then I'm also going to talk about uh, an example for re retail. But I think the possibilities are endless within uh, robotic process automation. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is introducing intelligent process automation. So this is 
using human augmentation to make decisions, intelligent decisions, uh, and really look at business process automation, so BPA, so how you can replace you know, mundane digital grind tasks, which you do every day, uh, and look at reducing some of that waste of, of time. And then what we're gonna do afterwards is focus on you know, where, where else you could you potentially use this across the organization? And I think this is an interesting challenge around uh, taking what the lessons have been learned within the RPA landscape over the, probably the last 10, 15 years in the operation space, uh, combining that with the test automation space. So if you've been uh, subscribed to the uh, application delivery management uh, virtual customer days, then you know you're going to see a lot around kind of what automation can do, especially with uh, some AI to capabilities that have been recently uh, launched. So you know combining both of those, so the shift left aspect of the development uh, and the shift right approach to operations, and combining them both, I think what we're going to see is some really interesting and fascinating uh, results. So you know join me uh, in December. Uh, Christmas has definitely come out early this year. Ooh.